Okay, well, no snow in the forecast. That's not, good news not for me yet. right now. Not anyway. yet. And we uh -huh. can get it this time of year. That's, uh, but we have plenty of rain. The, the key is today is, are we going to see the sun? And we are due for a little bit of sunshine. We had a little bit on Monday, uh, not much of it yesterday. Actually, we had on Tuesday, not much of it. To, no, Monday, not much of it today, and uh, also yesterday. Now, the hope is with this large upper level low pressure system, that's just going to start moving a little bit to the east. We'll squeeze in this dry area off to our south and west. And if we do, we'll see a little sunshine this afternoon. It's always very tricky, those cloud forecasts this time of year. What's well, not tricky? Well, up to the north, especially Grand Rapids northward, right along I-96 and uh, towards M20, we have a corridor, some light rain showers and sprinkles out there that are gonna plague us over the next uh, few hours, but those who move out will have a dry afternoon. Uh, right now, temperatures, uh, not much of a range out there. That's pretty much the case when you have a lot of low clouds. 46 degree temperature in Grand Rapids, uh, 48 in Kalamazoo. By the way, our high temperature yesterday was 49, so you can see over the past uh, several hours, really not much change in those temperatures. With a little bit of sunshine this afternoon, fingers crossed, we should top out in the upper 50s. And believe it or not, even though our average high is 64 degrees, <laughs> we're not going to see any temperature in the eight-day forecast uh, come close to that. Wind speed out there, calm, presently in Grand Rapids, six miles an hour in Kalamazoo. Here's that area of low pressure I was talking about. It's going to finally shift a little bit further to the east, but we're still in its area of influence, hence those light showers out there this morning. We'll pick it up with the future cast, and you can see some sunshine trying to build in, but it's going to be a race of the low clouds departing and the high clouds from this next batch of showers, which will be moving in west-southwest of Kalamazoo as it appears late this afternoon as the evening hours. Chance of showers mainly south of Grand Rapids tonight. More showers arrive later tomorrow with the approach of a warm front and an area of low pressure, which is going to give us a solid 100% chance of rain as it appears later Friday, and doesn't look good for Friday or football frenzy Friday with even a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. I think many locations from late Thursday right out through Saturday will be measuring one to two inches of rain. Right now, most roads are dry south of Grand Rapids, a few wet spots north of town. Is that impacting the travel at all? Brittany? It actually is not this morning. We are doing pretty good. Do want to let you know about a couple of construction, ongoing construction projects that could impact your drive, though, into work this morning. If you travel between Hudsonville and Zealand on westbound I-196, that has been causing some uh, major slowdowns. I actually got off at the Hudsonville exit yesterday afternoon around 3.30, and it was backed up all the way almost past that exit. So just plan for some extra time if you travel in that area that has been causing some pretty major slowdowns. Another slowdown area that we've been seeing this project running all all week single lane closures along I-96. This is eastbound and westbound uh, south of Lowell from uh, Alden Nash to Montcalm Avenue. So that's also been causing some delays uh, for those morning and even evening commutes as well as we expand our view out. Freeway systems in and around the Grand Rapids region looking good as of this morning. I'll have another update for you in about 15 minutes.